We've been focusing our attention on computing surface area, but there are much more general things that you compute using surface integrals. But in all these cases, the surface area element is the key. Consider the following physical examples. Let's say you're trying to compute the net electric charge across some surface. If you know the charge density and you integrate that with respect to the surface area element, that will give you the net electric charge across that surface. Or, for example, back when we were talking about moments of inertia, if we have something very thin, like a shell, that we're trying to rotate about some axis, then the corresponding integrals for computing the moment of inertia or the inertia matrix are all going to be integrals with respect to the surface area element. And, for a simpler example, if we look at just trying to compute the mass of a surface with a variable mass density, then you want to integrate that mass density with respect to surface area. Now, if we look at a slightly more general example of that, let's say trying to compute the center of mass of a thin shell, let's say the hull of a ship. Let's assume that that ship hull has mass density rho and it's expressed as the graph of a surface. Let's say z is a function of x and y. For x and y, some region in the plane. Now, this is probably going to be a pretty complicated sort of graph, but we already know what the surface area element for a graph of this form is. Recall we computed that d sigma is the square root of 1 plus partial z partial x squared plus partial z partial y squared times the area element dx dy. In this case, to compute the center of mass, we go coordinate by coordinate. x bar is what you get when you integrate x times the mass element, which is rho d sigma. Then we normalize by the total mass, which is the integral of rho d sigma over this region r. That gives us 1 over m, the total mass, times the integral of x rho d sigma. The formula for y bar is similar, but you're integrating y times rho d sigma. And finally, the formula for z bar is 1 of the mass times the integral of z times rho times d sigma. Now, I'm not going to do these in this example because in practice, these integrals are just going to be awful to compute. In practice, you probably want a numerical method for doing these computations with computer assistance. But knowing what it is that you're doing, what the surface area element is, is critical to understanding how to work with a numerical method to get a good answer.